to revive the heartbeat of a generation gone numb. Good morning, everyone. I'm Yeti Vasa Sogbe, and today I'm going to tell you a story about how I excel youth into the future. My life's work is about exposing youth to the possibilities available to them despite their external circumstances. Through the power of education and learning, I introduce students to a world that they may have never even imagined. Now this causes a stir, a curiosity inside of them, and leads them to wanting more. And then a light goes off, an awakening happens, and off they go on their journey of discovery. This gives me my greatest joy. The ultimate benefit of education to me is the ability to share thoughts with others, challenge and develop ideas, and blend them into contributions and solutions that can transform. These realizations led me on my journey of becoming an educator. I am an educator because it is my passion to lead others on an educational journey that triggers their potential and uncovers their true power. By show of hands, how many of you can remember a teacher who made a difference in your life? Well, it is my goal to be that one teacher to every young person that I encounter. I first began teaching in underperforming schools in the American school system over years ago, where each day I battled to capture students' attention as issues of gang violence and poverty riddled their home life. They were labeled at risk. This and many of the things that teenagers face can make them feel numb. But somehow, with proper programming and planning designed around increasing their performance, we were able to get these same at-risk students to raise their test scores and eventually into colleges and universities of their dreams. One of my fondest memories is of introducing the book A Long Way Gone to my ninth grade classroom by Sierra Leonean author Ishna Bea. This was the first time any of them had ever read a book cover to cover. With, the worst, with countries that reflect some of the worst illiteracy rates in the world, Africa's youth are either unemployed, underemployed, or actively seeking employment. Not to forget the untrained and the unskilled. This and a myriad of issues that um, impact youth could be a source of social unrest, despair, and uncertainty. Frustrated by the lack of opportunities in Africa, many of our youth are going on treacherous journeys to Europe in search of something better. Pools of idle youth can become magnets for rebel and extremist groups. The harsh realities that they face daily can make them numb. <laughs> but I teach to revive the heartbeat of a generation gone numb. Just think to yourself, what will it actually take to get our young people engaged? I believe we need places that allow young people to demonstrate their true talents in a supportive environment that tells them all the time that yes, they can do it. I was born in America where education is compulsory. And one of the many things that I learned on the, along my educational path is that education and learning gives you options. It opens up doors and the power to make choices. My parents, immigrants from Sierra Leone, always spoke about the value of education. They moved to the US in pursuit of educational opportunities that just weren't available to them or their children. But they never allowed us to forget where we came from. My first visit back to Sierra Leone again after the war was in 2002 and everything was still so fresh. I couldn't fathom what had happened to the country that I loved so much. I had so many unanswered questions. Why? How could something like this happen? And most of all, 
how could we make sure that it never happened again? Well, I decided we needed to do something, anything. And so I thought of volunteering with like-minded Sierra Leonean organizations, sending things to the less privileged, like toiletries, book bags, school supplies. And while these were making a big difference, I knew that this alone could not make the impact I wanted. Every year after that, I came to Sierra Leone. And while many things were changing, many things still stayed the same. This was extremely frustrating to me. But it wasn't before long, before I used to thought about my at-risk youth in American classrooms and the at-risk youth here in Sierra Leone. I began, what will it take to get our youth in Sierra Leone to go to colleges in Sierra Leone, but also around the world? In 2007, I decided to stop thinking, and I finally made that move to Sierra Leone. I felt like it was time to stop talking about change and to really come home and be part of it. I returned with the belief that Africa's future lies in the hands of our youth. Do you hear me? You are our future. This led me to embark on a mission to change the way education is presented in Africa. In many of our traditional African homes, our parents expect us to go to school and go into traditionally um, successful careers, like what? What are traditionally successful careers? Doctors, name them, lawyers, accountants. Now, don't get me wrong, those are all great careers, no shame. But what if you had a dream of doing so much more? What if you wanted to be a musician? What if you wanted to be a photographer, a chef, or even a fashion designer? I believe we need to be intentional about getting our youth fired up for the future, so that in 2030, when Africa is set to be the most populous continent in the world, that our youth are already pioneers in those fields for that Africa 12 years from now. When we make worthwhile investments in our young people, we, our societies, our countries, can reap the benefits. This idea gave birth to Excel Sierra Leone, a community-based organization that I founded. Excel stands for Education, Excellence, Community, Empowerment, and Leadership. We've endeavored to reach some of the most promising young people in Sierra Leone to participate in collaborative educational enrichment activities, short courses, and support services. Now, how many people remember not getting high marks in school because they wrote something different from what the teacher told them? Yeah, it's normal. Rote learning in our traditional African classrooms is normal. Learning to many of them is about the teacher feeding them the, the information in and the students being able to regurgitate verbatim. But Excel is different. We engage youth and challenge them to think critically and outside of the box. We use a variety of mechanisms like current events, music, poetry, to teach life skills, public speaking, and reading comprehension. My goal is to enlighten young people and give them the tools to succeed not only in literacy and numeracy, but in self-worth and self-discovery, to provide them with options the ability to research and explore before they make their career choices, not based on their parents or what society wants from them, but based on their passion, talents, and interests. Youth are dynamic, full of energy, and willing to take risks. All across the continent, youth are doing some amazing things. However, there must be a match between their ideas and access. They need to be assured that everything and anything, even in Sierra Leone, is possible. We need to trigger their potential and give them platforms to allow them to express their talent. 
At Excel, we trigger youth's potential in all of our participants, and our goals are achieved through our Excel program model, which strengthens students in three areas, academic support, leadership and community development, and college and careers, all alongside their normal academic schedule. On July 21st, we celebrated 10 years in Sierra Leone. 10 years of serving 700 students, 42 college graduates amongst our alumni, 10 entrepreneurs, seven master's holders, and two PhD holders. <laughs> 10 years of offering free services to Sierra Leonean students. I teach to revive the heartbeat of the generations on them. 10 years of reviving heartbeats like Pascal, who I met at the Bow School. Pascal was one of the highest ranking students on the WAS exam. His talent was not hard to spot. He was sharp, witty, thirsty for knowledge. I invited him to Freetown to apply for the African Leadership Academy one of the top institutions for training Africa's emerging leaders. He performed very well on exams, a clear star. But his writing needed help, and he was way too shy. Speaking in public was not his strength. That summer, Pascal began the Summer Institute at Excel, where he received training in math, English, public speaking, and leadership. And there it was that light that goes on, came on inside of him, and he was gaining his wings. Pascal was not selected for admission to the African Leadership Academy, and he was crushed. Now, I could admit, I was pretty shocked myself. But I wouldn't let that one disappointment alter Pascal. I continued to encourage him as he entered the Institute of Public Management and Administration. IPAM at the University of Sierra Leone. I spent time teaching him the art of researching opportunities on the internet around the world. It is within the network of supporters, guest speakers, and mentors that Pascal found out about an academic scholarship. He applied and he got it. This is a huge confidence builder for him. He graduated with a BS honor in information systems. And this is what Pascal had to say about his experience at Excel. Excel is that nutritious soil I needed to blossom, a complete package in itself. The program exposed me to interactive learning activities beyond the conventional education system. It equipped me with essential skills and resources needed in the 21st century. Excel sparked a unique flame of fearless determination and made networking with like-minded youth and professionals, all the more a breakthrough for an introvert like me. If Excel released the chain to help me back from self-realization, what more could I have asked for as a teenager? Excel is the secret behind my borderless success. Pascal is now an international development professional advocating for women, children, and girls. In the last seven years, he has won several awards for innovation and leadership. 10 years of reviving the heartbeats of girls like Kumba, who went to the Annie Walsh. Kumba had this to say about her experience at Excel. Excel gives you the opportunity to inspire and be inspired. It fosters critical thinking and gives you problem-solving skills. It empowers Sierra Leonean youth to be at the forefront of analyzing and evaluating potential solutions to novel problems. Excel is shaping Sierra Leone by laying the foundation for young leaders who are capable of solving tomorrow's challenges. Kumba is a United World College alumni, graduate of Colby College, and now a research assistant at the Department of Microbiology and Neuroscience at Harvard Medical School.
With so many challenges facing young Sierra Leoneans, I'm elated to meet highly capable, creative, and energized young people across the country with the desire to learn and transform their lives. After working with Excel, we want our participants to be socially and personally aware, and for that awareness to provoke a sense of urgency and personal responsibility for change. Nowhere in the world are young people more central to a country's more de continent's development than in Africa, where youth make up 47% of all inhabitants. To build the Africa we want to see, we must be willing to develop and trigger the potential of our nation's most coveted asset, our young people. We need to develop them and trigger them into the future. And while education and unemployment are real issues, it is our goal, it's not our goal to fix them, but to be a part of the larger ecosystem of solutions in Sierra Leone and Africa as a whole. Because at Excel, we believe that youth leadership and development is the mechanism for positive change. Thank you so much.